What's up, family? It's your boy, Gerald. It is the 6th of July, 2015. How is each and every one of y'all doing? So now you're in the recovery phase of your weekend. I hope it was safe. I hope it was protected. I hope it was blessed. But I also understand that you saw things that you in, you didn't anticipate, now didn't you? Some things were refreshing and some things may have been unsettling, but they were there because these were the things that made your reality. So how was everybody doing? You doing okay? First and foremost, I want to, from the bottom of my heart, shout out each and every person that has taken the time. See, it takes 100% effort to be you. And the fact that you took a second just to see, just to hear what I had to say, that is humbling enough. Because, see, I'm a firm believer, y'all, that when it comes to your life, your life is precious. It is one of a kind. It is original because it is only one you. But I got to bring it back because I also know that there is a responsibility to your life. And I'm all I'm going to do is just be a sounding board to the things you may have been thinking about because it's no secret. We are in very pivotal times, but I'm here to tell you, it's going to be all right. I know somebody's saying, well, Gerald, how can you say it's going to be all right, Gerald? There's so much things going on in the world. I turn on the TV and there's nothing but bad news. I say this to each and every one of you because I know this. The moment that you decide to make that unconditional commitment to yourself, the things that you hold dear, the perceptions that you have in your mind, that beautiful mind, will begin to shift. Yes, there's going to be a price for that shift because it is going to raise your stock up for your self-worth and respect, but it also, ever so clear, it's going to let you know what is required to be you. That's right. Because I know that somebody this weekend you saw things that you did not expect, and it was crystal clear, and you had to make a sound decision. No more are the days are you going to sit there, scratch your head, and downplay or dumb down a situation that is not rightfully yours. But see, have I not conveyed this to prepare yourself, to allow yourself to be transparent because see unconditional love is found in one place I love looking at you in the way God is in and I know right now some of y'all feel like you're the only person on this planet and you're wondering why the things that you thought that were a living constant are being shaken, have been shook, have fallen apart, and you don't understand why. I'm here to tell you, nothing happens by chance, y'all. And I say this with all love, nothing. See, everything that you are witnessing now had already a precept of little markers in the beginning, but you didn't understand what was being revealed. So now, accountability is there. Some it comes, sometimes it comes like a bull in a china shop to knock you on your butt, and sometimes it is just silent, but ever so present. So now it's time. Okay. But see, right now, as I know that there's somebody right now that you spent your whole weekend in your room 
You spent your weekend behind the steering wheel, driving aimlessly to find clarity of what is going on. I'm here to tell you, you're going to be all right. I know somebody's saying, well, Gerald, how can you say I'm going to be all right when I'm in pain? Because if you had just took a second to know that to have what you need, you have to get out your own way. So, in essence, what's going on now is a sifting. See, you might not have realized that maybe by impulse, maybe by influence, a little bit of the boat, you were put on a path that was not your own. You were living a life that was not your own. And granted, it was it was titillating and stimulating at times because you saw things that you may have not had exposure to at that moment. It was still not yours to have. It's no different. It's the same scenario when you go in a museum. You will always see things that you would not come in contact with on a daily basis. But when you do, to stop and stare and take wonder, you will always learn something. That's how your life is. See, what y'all don't realize, y'all, is this is a season where your legacy requires accountability to be you. See, the little tricks of wit and charm only hold but so much weight. When you turn around and compare real against imitation, and I know they say imitation is flattery, you will sadly but certainly see what is what and what is not. So let's get back to you. Let's get back to that beautiful person. So you sitting over here racking your brains over something, over what someone said, Unfortunately, having to deal with the recovery of what maybe someone had done. But guess what? The one thing I've learned in my journey, and we're all on our work, we all have to do work, but we're all on our walk. It just depends on when we're going to claim that first step. See, what you, what, one thing I've realized in my time on this planet is two things you can't do. You can't mask your body language, and you can't take back words that have been said. What is what is required is you to look a little deeper and wonder why. What was the cause? What was the source? What was the emotional trigger that spawned it, good or bad? And I believe, y'all, we are in that season now where real recognizes real, and it will come to pass, good or bad. So you got to make a decision, y'all. How much do you love yourself? You know, And you know what baffles me? Really, and, and I say this with all sincerity. I know there's somebody right now. You are actually entertaining what life would be like if you did not exist. Are you serious? Are you serious? Don't you realize that ain't nothing but the devil? He's trying to attack your heart. He wants you to come. He wants you to actually believe that you don't have a purpose. So guess what? He set you up to fail. But just know this. I know. <laughs> the Most High. I know Him as my Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm here to tell you, just as the words are com coming from my mouth to your heart. Oh yeah, I know somebody's feeling this. Because you're going through something. And what's so sad about it is... The people that you rely on or you think were friends are not your friends. Because you can't talk about these things. These are things that you got to keep bottled up inside. The question should be, if they're your friends, so you say they are. 
Why aren't they there when you need them the most? See, I got up this morning, y'all, went to my local, my local Walmart. I had to get my coffee, you know me. And as I was coming back, I had an epiphany. And the epiphany was, look at where we are now as a society. But look at where we're headed 20 years from now. And I'll be honest with you, y'all, it's going to be scary because you don't see people taking stock and value of their lives anymore. Society is convinced the impressionable that don't dream anymore. Don't ground your feet. Do everything to excess. And and what's sad about it is the impressionable, they're eating it up. And I'm going to tell you what's going to come, which is very sad. 20 years from now, we're going to have an epidemic. We're going to have an epidemic of such a proportion because what is going to happen is you're going to find more and more people not being able to conceive. Oh, yes. Because you're going to go through a season where you say, well, you know, I've done everything I wanted to do. I've experienced this, I experienced that, even though I know that it hurt me, I still have gotten the lesson from it, and I want to settle down. But the problem with that is, you still have not taken accountability for your life. You have not allowed yourself to heal. And you know why? Because a lot of y'all are doing that. The night away. See, see, I know some of y'all did that this weekend. Came up with a thousand and one excuses. Oh, I gotta go out of town. Business. Just to go run after a stolen moment. But what you don't realize is every time that you consummate your spirit and their spirit intertwines. And with that, whatever lessons that they have to experience, you're connected to it. And some of y'all, unfortunately, realized that the jig was up. Something that was done in secret has come to pass. And now you have to clean up the mess. Or worse, they flat out told you. I ain't going nowhere. My heart is there. But you and I, we have a bone. And that's such a disservice, y'all, because you don't deserve that. You're not an item that you can pull off the shelf in a grocery store, use it, and then throw away the rest. So some of y'all are dealing with the reality because you're coming to find out that what you thought was a reality was nothing but an illusion. And what's unfortunate is, even though you may have conveyed this to your peer group, there was fear, those were feelings really there. And you actually went along with the flow. So now the reality is this. The weekend's over. They're going back into the reality, and you're still in yours. But just know this. That is not your end-all, be-all. It's not. But you have to forgive yourself and ground your feet more. So what I'm asking each and every one of y'all to do is to have a little more faith in what I'm conveying. Because I deserve, I, I, I truly believe that everyone deserves 
to be happy, to have the life that, that they just, that they, I'm so passionate, y'all, I am almost stuttering. Because I know that there's somebody right now that's watching this video and your life has been turned upside down. You know, you're saying, it was all good yesterday, Gerald. You know, I, I really thought this was my soulmate. We, we get along so well, but you overlooked the things that were telling you that they were not. See, these people were connected to you karmically. These people were your distractions from yourself. And I, I'm, I'm telling this, because I'm telling you because I know right now your heart is hurting. It's hurting. But I'm going to send you this love here. I'm sending it to you. If I could reach out and hold you, I would. But like they said, like it's written, sorrow is just a moment and joy cometh in the morning. But let me tell you what, your higher power as I know him is my Lord Jesus Christ. He's got something better for you. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, queen, you sitting on the end of your bed, tapping your feet holding yourself, and you're wondering, thinking about what you did last night, but your pain, your regret, that denial that you carried like a purse is too heavy now, and it's forcing you to look at the reality of what it is. All I can tell you is this. The, it is time. You have that conversation with yourself. Turn to the Father. He is like this. He is like this. He created you, and he knows what's best. So, you going to stop running from yourself? I'm just saying. Because I'm going to tell you what, y'all. We're in the beginning of summer, and there's going to be so much memories you got coming your way. You don't even realize it because you're going to step into it. You're going to step into it. Don't worry about the people in the cheap seats. Don't worry about them because look here. They're going to validate who they are as they should because guess what? The people that you need in your life should share one commonality with you. And that is they love you. They support you. But guess what? They love themselves. So guess what? As you are growing and evolving, it should be parallel. It should be parallel. And granted, if they're your friends, why are they setting you up to fail? Why aren't they telling you what you need to do, what you need for yourself? But more importantly, why aren't you listening? It's the same as if you're driving in your car and you see a stop sign and you ignore it. You can't get surprised if someone broadsides you. It's the same thing with your life. If you don't ground your feet, reflect on where you've been. And, and see, that's the kicker, though, y'all, because for some reason, you have this mindset that as long as I don't look at it, it won't affect me. You know, like the boogeyman, like, okay, I know he's there, but I better, if I keep, if I keep looking forward, I, I can, I can keep pushing. Let me tell you something, y'all. See, number one, fairy tales are nothing but tools of manipulation. It's to indoctrinate and condition your mind for future behaviors and habits. For well, some of y'all, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because fairy tales are nothing but metaphorics, tools for life. It just depends on how you view it. <laughs> but I like to spin it because I can tell you right now, every fairy tale that's ever been existed, there is a spiritual message in it as well. So, it's July 6th, y'all. You're in the recovery mode. Some of y'all realizing, like, oh, I got to pay that bill. I know I'm talking to somebody. Some of y'all 
may have did it a little bit over overboard and now you got to go back a couple steps and put things back in order but you will you will do so but trust and believe when I tell y'all see this time next year 6 July 2006 you will not be where you once were there should be growth there don't worry about the people that are walking with you because as I keep trying to convey to each and every one of you see the people that love you if it's true if it's truly pure guess what just as they unconditionally decided to love you then they're gonna love you now and they, they're gonna love you forever because that's what love is love is pure it is not opportunity is not opportunity so you gotta bear with me y'all my mouth is not working but God love man I love me some Jesus and I know I know that somebody right now you just need somebody to soothe that heart you just want somebody to caress your head you want someone to lift your chin up look you in your eyes and say it's gonna be okay well, I can't physically do that, but I can through prayer. And I'm here to tell you, you're going to be fine. Don't worry about all that BS that is going on. It is very important that you take responsibility for what matters to you. Now, let me throw this out here. For those that are in relationships, yeah, you know, I was going to get there eventually. If you are not doing so thus far, I highly encourage you start today. You cannot, if you want your relationships to have longevity, you must make a conscious decision to be transparent. That's right. I need you to get to the basement of your heart where all those secrets are. You need to go and deal with them. You got to make that right. Because if you don't, guess what? You will be in allegiance with so many other people that decided not to claim their lives. How can you embrace what's coming if you are emotionally behind? You understand what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I had a conversation with somebody the other day, and they were telling me about a, a situation that they're going through. And I told them, I said, you know what? It's not your responsibility to make anyone grow. You can, expi you can inspire them, but at the end of the day, it's their conscious decisions on which directions they wish to go. It's your responsibility to adjust accordingly. But when it comes to relationships... It should be like the tide, ebb and flow. It should be equal and balanced. So if your relationship, if your if your companion is not your best friend, or if you feel like the only way that you can interact with this person is you have to filter your communication to interact with them, well, guess what? You're not feeling emotionally safe. And guess what? They're not your friends. They're not, because you're not being a friend to yourself first. Did you hear what I said? Make this, the, make this the summer that you decide that you're not going to allow anything or anyone to define who you are. So to do that, you got to have the courage to speak your truth. you got to be grounded to fortify those boundaries and stop being someone's puppet. Because guess what? Those people that want to use the opportunistic approach or the calculated agenda to maneuver their lives, guess what? They're some of the most broken people in the world. 
because they refuse to look at them look at them live at their lives to change what needs to be changed see to change your life you must take accountability but before you can take accountability you've got to be able to look at it for what it is you feel what I'm saying like for example if you envision a house on a plot of land but there's a house or structure there before it you've got to knock down that other structure clean out the debris lay the foundation so it is straight before you can lay down the first brick why because if you don't whatever you're trying to build off of will not stand and that should be like the relationships with your life and the and the connections that you have associated with it so listen some my angels are telling me to tell somebody now you need to get out of your head stop playing inspector Clouseau if you feel a certain way about somebody or your suspicions are acting or got you feeling a certain way number one that's your discernment you better listen to it but out of respect address the situation Trans transparently ask your questions if they truly value you they will also respond in kind because communication is a two-way street you can't be well what is yours is mine and mine is mine no 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 all you're doing is setting yourself up to fail so we're in the recovery time y'all some of y'all went away for four day weekend and y'all said four day weekend yeah because some of y'all started your holiday Wednesday yeah you did started calling <laughs> I'm sick yeah I know how y'all do but there's a price in that there's a price and guess what as I always say see whatever you project you attract so if you're walking in deception be prepared to be seen to be deceived that's why I keep trying to invest in your heart and mind y'all I convey this each and every time if you are investing in something only in darkness but yet that investment is not reciprocated during the day why are you investing it in other words whatever you're doing in, during the darkness why can't it be the same during the day because I'll tell you why because they're doing the same thing to you so why why are you settling you know what I'm saying? Why are you doing it? Mm -mm. You only come around when they want to see you. Like you are on a work schedule. They got you doing things that are strange, but you're doing it all in the name of love. But yet you won't love yourself. And I ain't even got to tell you about this. This is going to get you in trouble. I know that needs to go out to somebody. All things come to light. They always do. But on a different note, for that person that feels like their voice is not heard, they feel that they're alone and they're not loved and appreciated. And you think this is a road You've been on this road for a long, long time. Some of you jumped on this road from your childhood. Some of you have diverted onto this road because of a commitment that was not truly reciprocated. And you have this anger in your spirit and you feel that, well, you know what? I'm just going to be selfish. Well, how's that working out for you? When you decide to ground your feet, you'll come to see every little act of anger, every little ang uh, action that was spawned out of selfishness. Yeah, you may have gotten over, 
But you, what you don't realize is you got played too. Because see, you had to be a willful participant in that. And it shouldn't have been at the price of your self-respect. So, my queens, I'm telling you, stop playing games of house. Stop doing things that married folk do, and you don't even have a ring. But more importantly, if he does not put God first before his life, he will not put himself in front of you. So what you selling for? Because guess what? Anybody can have someone to lay down to, keep them warm, lighten their shoes up. Why you think you feeling hollow right now? Why you think you got them bruises on your arm? I know I'm talking to somebody. And what's sad about it is the support that you need is your family, but yet you keep your mouth closed. And the sad thing is they know that you ain't got no support, so they keep running the table on you. So what you going to do about that? Because guess what? Those bruises ain't badges of honor. Mm -mm. But I will say this, though. The moment that you decide to get real with your life, take account accountability of your life, forgive yourself for the choices that you've made, because you've made a lot of them that were not in your best interest. But guess what? You may have, been, you may have even thought this. When is my prince going to come? When is my queen going to come? When you exhibit the traits that you require. So in other words, if you want, if you wish for your queen to enter your life, <coughs> why aren't you her queen? Why aren't you her king? Hmm? You understand? Know Anybody can have sex with somebody. But if this person will not share who they are intimate, intimately within their, within their being, you got to look at that as that's how they see you. They're not, they're not going to invest in you. They're not going to give you a ring. They're going to tell you what you need to hear so they can keep the program running. And then after the program is ran, you're going to get cut. Don't do that. Come on now. I ain't got to tell you. Look at your aunties. Look at your uncles. Look at the turnstile of people that you've been exposed to. Like, oh, he got a new one. Oh, she got a new one. They ain't getting together just to have coffee and crumpets. Come on now. See your work. Love yourself. Place God first in all that you do. And I'm telling you, if you invest in your life, Unconditional. That means you got to do the work. Allow yourself to heal. The worst thing you can do is rebound. You, you actually have the spiritual essence of what you were doing over there, and you automatically give that to someone that don't even know your middle name. You know what that does? That devalues you and makes you the consolation prize because they know they did nothing to earn the right. Didn't even earn the right to see your pinky toe. But yet they know what's. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna go there. You better get it together. I know you will, because God loves you. I do too. But it's time to get back to reality. Come on now. You got a lot of blessings and a lot of a lot of good things coming to you the moment you decide to love you more. And then guess what? What did I say? this and get you in trouble. When was the last time you went in your cell phone and went down that list and said, well, you know what? What are they? What do we have in common? Do these people see my worth? Can I grow from this person? Because if, it's, if your cell phone has become nothing but a get it list, guess what? 
You're not an experience to them. You're just something to do. And that's such a disservice. And unfortunately, my queens, the ring that you genuinely want will never come until you decide to put the crown back on your head and be the queen that he knows you ought to be. But make sure he's a spiritual man and you embrace your spirituality because I'm going to tell you what, the moment you do, you will see your life be transformed. The rough edges and things that were in your way will be moved. I ain't got to tell you, God makes a way when there is no way. But he can't do anything until you decide to love yourself first and submit to him. So have that conversation. It's not his responsibility to seek you out. He created you. It's your responsibility to humble yourself and understand him. You fall short. He left us an owner's manual for our lives. But I'm going to tell you what. You want, we are in times where people want to do everything. They want to take shots. They want to do everything they can to throw stones. But guess what? The one living constant is this. He's God. And all those people that have made that choice to walk away from him have to be prepared of this. See, we have free will. We can change it up. In it whenever we decide to be real with ourselves. But what you don't want to do is wait to the 13th hour. Because you know what? You may be risking him looking at you and say, I know you're not. To so see your worth, claim your life, love yourself more, and of course, place God first in everything you do. And I guarantee you, your life will be changed. God is praying for you. You know I am. I see your work. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me to discern mine. What did I tell you last video? Didn't I say that your breakthrough is coming? Well, guess what? Sometimes you got to allow a breakdown to occur. So i so that that breakthrough can be seen. Claim it by claiming you first. Love to hear from you, y'all. Stay blessed. Stay protected. And of course, you stay you. Bye. See, that's what God's telling you right there. Come to me. Unconditional love, y'all. That's what we all need. Love yourself.